we're making some adjustments to gunplay and Valorant. We're improving the Phantom's damage falloff at further ranges to reduce the amount of feels bad 140 headshots. Separately, over the last five years, players have optimized our movement and shooting systems. To keep up, we're making systemic gunplay changes to keep gunfights feeling intentional and making sure stopping and shooting remains skillful. We're adding a new type of shield to Valorant called the Regen Shield. We want to add content that changes how you think about the game in specific circumstances. It's different from armors in that it'll take all of its damage before any health bleed occurs. It'll shield for 25, and if you escape combat, it'll regenerate to its cap from a total pool of 50. This should add new light by decision making and potentially make weapon purchases like the Outlaw or Guardian more appealing. As for Agents, we're adjusting Phoenix. It'll be easier for him to move forward and take space for his team while keeping his kit familiar. His flash is now a signature, which means he'll start with one each round. And instead of having to sit in his fire to heal, it'll be applied after touching it, which gives him more freedom to make plays. We're also making adjustments to some of our Sentinels and Controllers. We're buffing Sage's self-heal and ult, balancing Cypher's tripwires to increase counterplay, and adjusting Deadlock's ult. We'll have more changes coming for Deadlock in the future. To see all the detailed agent changes for Controllers and more, please check out our patch notes.